Uh, what is going on? You already know it's Orlando and today I've got you guys the top five best builds in NBA 2K19. Today is your lucky day. Sports TMB account service is now open. Well, what is Sports TMB's account service? Well, you're able to buy stacked NBA 2K19 accounts with high overalls, max badges, and more. So if you're interested in buying or selling accounts, make sure you guys hit up Sports TMB. His link will be in the description down below. Make sure you let him know Orlando sent you, and he'll hook you up. Yo, it's Christmas season, guys, and we already know a lot of new kids will be getting 2K19 for Christmas. Or you may be making a new build for Christmas. You get, you know, you're getting some gift cards. You're gonna get some VC, and this is when a lot of people make new builds. So you know, I don't want you guys to make some crummy, bad builds that you're gonna regret making. So I'm gonna tell you the top five best cheesiest builds in 2K. So these are the builds that you know everybody you know keeps a 91 percentage or better. Like these are the builds that are so cheesy. They're so annoying to play against. But everyone that has a good record seems to have these builds. So let's just get right into it. The first cheesiest build I have for you guys is, well, the build I have, the pure stretch big. And why is this build cheesy? It has, <laughs> yo, we got tons of reasons on why this build is cheesy. But first, let me tell you how you're going to make this build, all right? I'm the pro on this, you know? You're going to want to make him a power forward, not a center, because centers get horrible badges compared to the power forward stretch. So for a power forward stretch, you're gonna make him a power forward or for a stretch you're gonna make him a power forward yeah so you make him a power forward you're gonna make him either six foot eleven or seven foot tall either way they're both really good builds i preferably like the six foot eleven because they get better stats and then you're gonna want to make them like two arm lengths below normal that's what i did so two notches down from normal six foot eleven or seven foot or whatever your preference is on that make them about 240 245 pounds and boom, you got yourself your build right there, right? But why is this build so cheesy and why should he make it? Well, it is one of the most dominant twos builds in the game. All you have to do is team up with a pure post score or a glass cleaner or a rim protector, somebody with gold brick wall or hall of fame brick wall, have them set you big bodies and you're gonna be splashing threes all day and going on big win streaks on them twos. And it's also a really popular build on the threes and this build can just pretty much do it all. Once you hit three shots, you get your takeover. And when you get your takeover, you're just going to be hitting crazy, insanely contested shots. You can shoot over guards. You can hit fadeaways. Uh, this build is just super cheesy in so many ways, guys. Um, and it's also really fun to be this build. So if you're not a dribble head, you don't like to dribble, you don't like to defend, or you know you just want to score a lot, but you don't want to have too much IQ, this is like the dummy build. Like This is dummy proof. We're just a casual gamer or just casually play 2k and you don't want to like focus on getting really good with a you know tougher build this is like an easy man's build i'm like saying it it's the build i'm using but i enjoy it man all you have to do is you know get open and hit your shots and you can pretty much shoot from anywhere so with that being said man this is one of the best builds in 2k and if you're looking for an easy fun build to use and enjoy make it stretch big the second most cheesiest build to make this year is well, if you don't like to shoot and you don't like to dribble, there's still a build out there that is gonna be super cheesy for you guys. That is another center build we're gonna make for you. And this one is the pure post scorer. The pure post scorer is a crazy dominant build. It has, you know, the five Hall of Fame badges, two gold, 11 silver, seven bronze. It has Hall of Fame brick wall and all the cheesy, you know, crazy post scoring moves on hall of fame so if you guys want to make a cheesy build this is one you have to consider not only is this build dominant at the park on the twos this is the most dominant 1v1 build in the game a lot of people who have 90 plus win percentages use this build and all they play is andy up 1v1 so if you make this pure post score you have to make them seven foot three Make him seven foot three and I would max out his weight and I would just take him to the ante up and play 1v1s and you'll be able to go on like a, you know, 50, 100 game win streaks. And the only people who pretty much will beat you in a 1v1 will be more skilled, pure post scores. These pure post scores are crazy annoying to play against. Let me tell you, man, I played against so many of these. I actually tried playing on the 1v1 tournament that they had uh, for an event on 2K. And the first person I played against was a pure post score. 
I was only able to score six, then he got the ball and I couldn't stop him. He ended up getting his takeover badge and once a pure post scorer gets their takeover badge, they will not miss in the paint. They're gonna be breaking your ankles in the paint. They'll be doing some post spin stuff and they're gonna be losing you and they're just gonna be getting easy layups, easy fadeaways and easy dunks in the paint. It's just a super cheesy build. So if you're into, you know, doing post moves, you don't really like shooting, you don't like dribbling, and you just want to dominate in 2K19, make a pure post score. But if you want a little bit of both worlds of shooting and post scoring, you can also adjust build and do a shot creating post score. Those builds are also very nice and a lot of people do streak on those on the 1v1s as well. But personally, I think the pure post score is more cheesy than the shot creating post score, but you can go either way. That's your choice. Number three. One of the other most cheesiest builds in the games. I know I'm saying cheesy a lot, but all these builds are super cheesy. But this one was made really popular by Ticino, and others have also used this build to have incredible records in 2K19, like T Jack. And yo, I made it and I used it, and it's really, really cheesy. It's the pure shot creator. Pure shot creator is AIDS. I'm telling you guys, it is AIDS. It has really amazing you know badges you get like mid-range dead eye uh difficult shots on hall of fame tireless score and hall of fame you get some crazy badges on the hall of fame and uh these builds play really well with a glass cleaner you need to play with someone who has at least gold brick wall to be dominant with this build this build's not one of those iso builds you're gonna need to do some teamwork all you need you know is someone with brick wall at least gold brick wall have them, you know, have your defender hit them big bodies and you're going to be making every single mid range shot with this build. That's why this build is cheesy. It's like the mid range specialist. They don't miss open for mid range. You can shoot them, you know, spot up or fading away and you're always going to make them because of the badges and the stats that these pure shot creators get. The best shot creating build is right here, man. You just got to make a six foot four, 200 pounds, normal wingspan. Trust me guys, like you don't want to make it any other way. Like there's, I'm not going to make this video all about a pure shot creator. I'm just going to tell you guys, this is the best build. I did make a 6-3 with T-Rex arms and, and it didn't work out. So if you're going to make a pure shot creator, make them six foot four, 200 pounds with normal wingspan and you won't regret it. You're going to be cheesy. You just need to find a glass cleaner to pair up with. Now let's get into our fourth cheesiest build in this video, guys. That is the pure point forward. Finally, we're getting into someone who can actually dribble, right? A lot of people did not make a pure point four because it's the cheese. Not only is it one of the cheesiest builds, but it's also one of the more difficult builds to use. You actually have to have a bunch of IQ and have common sense to dominate with this build. But you guys want to know why this build is cheesy? Well, one of the best park players in the game who has one of the best records in the game actually made this build. A poor boy Sin. He's on the PS4 and he dominates with this build. And this other man on Xbox also has this build and he dominates with this build his name is bandit they both run a specific system on the twos court they always run with a shooter they want to run with a pure stretch and all they do is have their pure stretch sit in the corner and what they do is iso ball so that you know you need to learn your dribble moves if you love dribble moves and you're good at breaking people's ankles and getting by defenders this is the build for you because all you're going to want to do is iso people on the twos court and get the easy dunk and if the other defender that's guarding the stretch comes to help out they're gonna start helping you out and all you have to do is kick it out to the open stretch for the three and boom it's a recipe for crazy win streaks i'm telling y'all so if you're really good with the dribbling which i am not that's why i'm not making this build i'm not a dribble head but if you're good with the dribbling you have high iq and you can get by defenders and you know you have iq this is the build for you. This build is super cheesy. And the fifth and final cheesiest build. Well, I also have this build made. Um, it was used for my rebirth. And like I said in my past video, I didn't get to choose my rebirth. The hacker did. And first of all, y'all be saying that I was never hacked and it was a lie or something. You guys are crazy, man. Holy crap. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you know it's legit, man. I showed a bunch of screenshots and all this crazy stuff. But besides that, I don't know why people think I'm lying. I'm not one of those YouTubers who lie about anything. I'm always honest with you guys. I'm actually one of the most legit YouTubers out there. I, you know, just never lied to you guys. I'm not brought up about lying. But anyways, that kind of triggered me. But let's get back in the video here. 
Lockdown Defender is the final best build out there, guys. They have crazy badges, Defensive Stopper, Pick Dodger, Chase Down Artist, and Pickpocket on Hall of Fame. And this build is just super cheesy this year. No one likes playing against them. This is like the stretches or sharpshooters worst nightmare. If you put one of these guys on one of those, it's over. They cannot score. They cannot be stopped. And even if you have a stretch and a glass and you're playing them on the twos, these freaking lockdowns just go right through their screens and play amazing defense. They're so aids. I hate playing against them. And that's why there's a bunch of lockdowns in the ante up because you already know there's a bunch of sweaty tryhards over there in the ante up. And on each sweaty team, they always have one lockdown to lock to clamp down the best score on the other team. And these builds are super cheesy. They're really fun to play on. I know a lot of y'all are like, damn, dude, I don't want to be a lockdown. It seems boring. I can't score or do anything. But guess what? You can spam the steal button and get a bunch of steals. You get to clamp people up. And you can actually hit open corner threes. Yeah, a lockdown can hit open corner threes. They get like silver corner specialists. And you can finish really good in the paint. My recommendation is to make these builds anywhere between six foot eight and six foot ten. Um, some people are saying like only six foot eight and six foot nine builds can guard guards and centers. I made mine six foot ten, and uh, if you make them over 256 pounds, you get contact dunks. So my suggestion, personally, what I would tell you to make on this build would be a small forward, six foot ten, 256 pounds, and um, you have the perfect lockdown build right there. But uh, you know, there's other builds and there's other ways to make the lockdown also dominant. Either way, no matter what you pick for a lockdown, they're going to dominate out there on the defensive end. And if your teammates have high IQ and are really good, they're going to get you open for shots. But this build is super AIDS. And those are the five like cheesiest builds we have this year, guys. Like these are the most popular builds that everyone's making. And uh, they're really fun to play as. And they're also really annoying to play against. So you already know these are the right builds. So if you guys are looking for a new build to make, and you guys don't want to, you know, risk it and try one of those weird builds like dual archetypes and you don't know if it's going to be good kind of build. Uh, make one of these builds. Any, any of these five builds you guys are going to enjoy and what it does. You know, they all have a specialty in something, but they're really dominant in that specialty. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Uh, make sure you guys comment, like and subscribe down below. We're on the road for that 300K. We're at like almost 200. I don't even know how many thousand subscribers we're at, but I appreciate every single one of y'all who drop a like in the video and that subscribe. But for right now, guys, I'm the O and I'm out. <laughs>